Hey everybody, this is Alicia with Dentamax, and on the line with me, I've got Danny Lanieri with Weave, and we are super excited today to go through some new tools that Weave has come out with in this um, crazy time for everybody that needs to adapt, which is everyone, to COVID-19. We're just going to wait another moment here before we begin to give other people a chance to join us. And we'll be starting our webinar in just a moment. And thanks, everybody, for being with us today. For those of you who are new to this webinar um, is a tool panel go to the webinar on the side where you have the options to questions. There's a little um, section at the bottom that says questions. So if you do have questions, we'll try to answer them at the end um, or at least those and respond directly to you after, after the webinar if we're not able to get to those during the webinar. And of course, we want to make great use of your time today, so um, we won't keep you longer than necessary. Okay, so it looks like it's about time. Danny, are you with us? I am. Thanks a lot okay. for having me. Happy to be here. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. And um, I just have to say thank you to Weave as a company for being so quick to respond under the COVID-19 situation and getting some tools for everyone um, to focus on things that are going to be pertinent now is, of course, the six feet social distancing um, and being able to still provide service through a telehealth solution. So thank you so much for being a great partner coming up with a solution um, for all of our dental practices. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, it's clearly an unprecedented time, and um, as we as we begin, I actually wanted to share a little quote, just kind of speaking to that. You know, we nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. In terms of this. COVID outbreak and more specifically what that has done to dentistry. You know, I my heart goes out to those offices and those providers that have had to furlough their teams or production has grinded mm -hmm. to a standstill. Um, it's really it's really been a, a, a scary time for many and it's something that obviously we we can't go back and say could have should have would have but we can start today and we can make the necessary changes and adapt and implement the tools that we need to move through this and look to what things will be like on the other side and so that's a that's a big reason why alicia and i thought it would be incredibly helpful to speak to some of the tools that we have here at weave for offices that have quickly been forced into emergency only scenarios and and quite frankly mm -hmm. just doing their practices remotely. Um, wanted to speak to some of the tools that we have within our system and then the partnership and the integration that we have with Dentamax that essentially makes this a full package to where an office in this time can run their practice entirely remotely and still communicate very effectively with their patients, maintain those relationships, and keep keep the necessary checks and balances as far as communication goes in place. So as absolutely for for those of you who don't know, uh, Weave is a phone system. We're a voice over IP phone system that integrates with the practice management software, and essentially makes it so that you have all of your patient communication needs your phone, and then obviously with our partnership and in the integration with Dentamax, we provide you an ensuite of services that you've got all of your missed call, 
text, your two-way text, quick fill list, follow-ups. We have a mobile app that you can run your practice from your mobile phone at, as if you were in the front office or right there in the lo on location. And some other tools that we've very recently built out that I'm going to speak to toward the end here. And uh, we, we really feel that offices that are moving away from their former methods of communication and adapting some of these things have really benefited. And we, we're excited to share some of these today. Um, just firstly wanted to speak to the Weave mobile app. Now, for those offices who are using a landline phone, obviously you have to be in the office to pick up your calls or to dial out calls. But through Weave, being that we're a phone provider and we have this mobile app and our software integrated with Dentamax, all of your patients as they call in, you will actually be able to run your practice from your mobile phone. So we link this mobile app to your office number and we link it to your Dentamax software so that when patients call in, you actually know who you're speaking with, last kept appointment, insurance type, overdue balances, their birthday, other family members tied to the account, so that instead of during this time asking a patient to confirm that they're a patient of record or when the last time you saw them or what their insurance is or all of those details, you can actually answer the phone and say, hi, Lisa, boy, we sure hope you're doing well during these times. What can we do for you? I saw that the last time you came in, it was just a simple profi or a full mouth debridement, uh, scaling and root planing. Do you still have this insurance? And you can engage with them even with personal notes that are linked to the account. Um, it's really just, especially during these times where our relationships are everything, helping those patients feel like you know who they are and engage with them on, on a different mm -hmm. level through these patient insights is really valuable. Alicia, do you have yeah. anything you want to add there? Absolutely. So um, I am not sure that our customers who are watching this even know, but Denimax has actually sent all of its employees home to work uh, as of last week um, because we're in Arizona and the regulations here. Um, and we've found that the bulk of dental offices, the bulk of states, um, are doing the social distancing and shutting down non-essential businesses, um, which dentistry is considered essential, but they're only wanting people to, of course, focus on emergency um, visits and ruling out cosmetic procedures for the time being and um, preserving resources and all of that. So. I actually have a VoIP system. Um, we have it at Dentamax, and I have a mobile app on my cell phone. And being able to get those calls where people are calling our main office number and still have it um, route to my cell phone has been incredible for this last week. Um, and I can't imagine having to call in and check voicemails at my dental office if I were still in a dental office. Um, several times a day just to see if I missed any phone calls. So I think the value of having your telephone number routed and forwarding those phone calls to your cell phone is huge. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to mention uh, that, that the benefit there is really incredible for the dental offices to not have to be sitting there in your dental office waiting for the phone to ring, but being able to be on the move with your cell phone and using the tools you already have um, and pick up your patient phone calls there is great. Absolutely. And one other thing to make note of here is that instead of having to go into the office to do things like change your voicemail or you know double check on certain follow-ups and things, all of that is possible through the mobile app. So you can essentially as we are all standing by receiving new regulations or announcements from our local government, we can make changes and you'd be able to make changes to your practice, uh, to the voicemail recording and, and different things that will change on a day-to-day -day basis for, for most of us. So moving forward along, when I talk about changing your voicemail, one very very important tool that we have built is something called the missed call text. 
I would imagine during this time, probably more than ever, offices are missing calls from their patients, especially those who are forced to be on location, in the office, answering the phones. And if they're not, then their patients are re reaching a voicemail and they're having to potentially even go into the office to listen to those voicemails. Mm -hmm. Not only can you listen to your voicemails through the Weave mobile app or through our desktop on, say, a personal laptop, if you've downloaded the Weave application, but when a patient calls in and you're unable to answer their call, Weave will automatically trigger a missed call text that you can customize and it will send that to their cell phone if they do not leave a voicemail. And so if they hang up the phone, you can customize a message saying, sorry, we missed your call. We are dealing with an emergency or we're with other patients or we're not in the office given the COVID scenario right now. We will get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, is there anything I can help you with? And the patient can actually text right back and you would receive that text through the mobile application and you can engage them through your office telephone number in a two-way text conversation. And so this is something that's a very big safety net, especially right now for those practices who are unable to answer all of the calls, but this ensures that every patient is dealt with immediately, even if you cannot pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and definitely I'm an advocate for having some option um, to do text messaging, no matter what platform it is, there's amazing tools in Weave, but regardless, everybody needs to have texting of some sort. Um, there is a recent study that showed uh, about six minutes a day for most Americans is spent on the phone actually making phone calls and over 26 minutes a day texting people. So you can see the trend is where people don't want to have to pick up the phone and call. They want to be able to text. And the plus side on this uh, with Weave is that when the patient sends a text message, they actually send it to your office phone number. They don't have to save a separate phone number in, the, in their phone in order to text the office. So um, that's a huge benefit of the Weave texting solution as well. But this missed call text, um, Danny, what are the stats on that? How many people are not leaving voicemails these days? Well, you know, the, we, we try to stay as up to date as we can on, on the metrics that are being measured. But right now, it's, it's actually pretty crazy to think about this stat. The, they're saying that 97% of patients right now, when they're calling in and they're not the phone call is not picked up, that 97% of them are dropping that call and 3% are leaving a voicemail. Wow. So if you consider, <laughs> you know, the fact that, to your point, Alicia, our, our cell phones have barely become phones anymore. We spend so little time checking voicemails, leaving voicemails, talking on the phone, but it, it really is an internet-based, two-way text communicator that that we use more often than not. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. And, and to that point, that's segueing into this two-way text. So like Alicia said, we actually enable the office phone number to be text capable. So when patients are communicating with the practice, whether that's through a phone call or through text message, they can actually save the phone number for the practice in their phone and that is the number that whether they're calling or texting with they can communicate with that 100 percent of the time and so because text message is such a preferred communication method right now the ability to enable your landline to be text capable is is very crucial and especially with these covid times that is is something that practices are able to communicate with many more patients at once rather than just having their line bogged down for one phone call at a time. They can send off many text messages and engage with several different patients as they respond at different rates. And, and this, is, this is a tool that has the usage from, from our side at Weave, when we check the usage on some of these features, the texting feature is something that has doubled in its utilization in the last month. So it's really mm -hmm. impressive to see how, how how many people prefer text communication over calling. Yep, I've actually gotten in the habit of um, if I call a medical office, 
and I don't reach a person, I've gotten in the habit of just sending them a text because I'm guessing that most offices these days do and should have some sort of texting platform. <laughs> so I'm just automatically doing that without even knowing that, you know, the office has text messaging or not. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very important. Uh, one other thing that can be done through our mobile app and remotely is actually quick fills on your schedule. Now, I know that most practices have moved to emergency only. And so in some cases, if those emergency slots are filled, then this quick fill feature is even more uh, important. What, what happens here is a patient will call in and ask to be seen immediately, but if your time slots are full, you're not able to offer them that appointment. However, you can save a list of patients that would like to be contacted immediately if you have an opening. So when an opening pops up, you can simply go to your quick fill list and weave and send a text message through the platform or call that patient saying, hey, we've had an opening that popped up on the day that you had requested and we're able to fit you in, does this appointment time work for you? This will also be very important as we segue out of these restriction times and move back toward cosmetic and hygiene and things like that. Patients that have been hesitant to call in because they may not have felt that their dental needs were an emergency, but they would like to get in immediately as soon as things return to normalcy, uh, this quick fill feature will be heavily utilized because there will be large lists of patients that offices can simply click on the quick fill list and send a text message out to all of those patients saying, we have these openings available, please respond if any of those work for you. And first come, mm -hmm. first serve, those patients can respond once again through text message or by calling into the practice. Yep. And that, for for everybody um, on this phone call, that is the ASAP list that that quick fill of feature is pulling data from. And so the great thing about this is you, again, don't have to be sitting at your computer at the office with Denimax installed on it. You don't even have to have Denimax open and running somewhere in order to access access this data on that smartphone application that Weave has available. Absolutely. Yeah, and this is a, another, much like the quick fill list, you can actually automate follow-ups in our system. So if a patient calls up with an emergency or they have just finished an emergency case and you'd like to schedule a follow-up for the end of day or two to three days out, you can actually customize text templates or schedule a phone call with that patient and we will notify you on the date and time that you set that follow up. And once again, through the mobile app, you could click and verify or co confirm to send that message or you could simply click right there in the application and it would dial the patient. So once again, you do not need to have your practice management software open because we're already synced to Dentamax and we're pulling in all that information so that you have your whole patient database in Weave um, this is a this is a great way to save time and then also to, to stay on top of all of your follow-ups as we're out of the practice and running things remotely and treating emergency cases only right now. But even follow-ups for patients that when things return to hygiene, cosmetic, what have you, many patients may be calling in saying, could you notify me immediately? when you're going to return or when I can get into the practice and you could set up an automated follow-up right there after that call and and that would we will notify you on the date and time that you wanted that follow-up to reach out to that patient. One very very important thing right now is to communicate to your patients with updates with COVID best practices anything and everything that you need to communicate to them it's very important to get the message out and what we have is we can actually pull all of the emails that are listed in your account uh, with dentamax if you have your emails up to date or if you'd like to manually enter any emails for this purpose we can take a csv list or any any information that you have that you'd like to input into our mass email system and you can send out office updates you can send best practices, 
you can send all sorts of information, especially during these times. This is a very utilized feature as offices are communicating with their whole patient database or, mm -hmm. or even whittling it down to specific larger groups such as male, female, age groups, different insurance types, what have you. You can actually customize that and send out mass communication through our email platform. And this is this is something that is is also it, utilization of this feature has heavily increased in the last month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely could see that. I've had tons of practices calling me and asking how they can mass email their patients because when you've got a patient database of let's say three thousand, five thousand, some of you ten and twenty thousand you're not going to have the time to pick up the phone and tell, call each patient to tell them that you're open and seeing emergencies or that you'll reopen on this date. You definitely need a way to quickly communicate with all of your patients in bulk. So I appreciate that you have that option. And I know you've got several templates built in in there right now for um, COVID-related situations as well, right, Danny? We do. There are quite a few templates that offices may want to use or even customize a little bit themselves that uh, they're welcome to use those templates and send those out to those mass scenarios like you're saying, Alicia. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, and one thing, especially for offices that have several locations or even all of those team members are working remotely, keeping in touch with your team is very important. So if everyone on the team downloaded the Weave mobile app, you can actually have an inter-office communication or inner-office communication through Weave to where you can send updates or make sure things are straight with your schedule or making sure treatment coordination, emergency cases, any scenario is taken care of. And that's something that's built in to the mobile app and our desktop application. So a lot of offices utilize this on a daily basis. And especially right now, as people are remote, this is a great way to keep everyone tied together without having to use their personal cell phones or um, fill up their text inbox with office updates. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. Yeah, yeah um, one thing with, with scheduling, so Weave is, a an appointment confirmation system. We can send out your daily appointment reminders now that you're scheduling emergency cases or um, especially as you return to where you're seeing many more cases in a day or even your overdue hygiene messaging or things like that. We've actually sends and confirms appointments and then you're able to access your daily schedule on the mobile app and on your desktop application to see which patients have confirmed through our system or perhaps which patients have not confirmed. And if it's an unconfirmed patient, you can see there with the drop down, Sonny Mortensen, all of those blue icons, you actually could either call, text, or email Sonny right there through our application without having to look up Sonny's information. It's tied to all of Sonny's info right there. So if you were to click on that text icon, it would pull up his cell phone and you can send a simple text message saying, hi, we're just trying to confirm you for your appointment on uh, eight, at 8 a.m. on, on the uh, 19th. And he's able to respond right there, or if you wanted to do that through email or picking up the phone and uh, click to dial there. That's, that's another thing that can happen. Um, Great. Oh, go ahead, Alicia, sorry. Um, I actually wanted to comment just to share. I've gotten a couple of questions on the panel. Um, one of our viewers asked or stated that their patients are older, an older age group, and many don't have a cell phone and asked how this is this platform is going to help them. So um, this was the point here is that it's it's not just for texting. There's so many different functions that you could do through that mobile app, um, as you were saying. Um, you know, the email or just click and call and it calls out from your office number. So again, not having to be present in your office sitting at the desk just to use your office line. Um, I just wanted to make that point. That was one of the questions we've gotten. Okay, yeah, so absolutely. Here, once again, with this example that we can see with Sonny Mortensen, that icon down on the bottom left is actually, in this case, if if he did not have a cell phone, there would there would not be a text icon. 
So the uh, blue chat icon next to the phone would not be there. It would just have the phone. And if you clicked on that icon, it would immediately connect you to Sunny's landline phone. So you can call out through, while you're holding your mobile phone, but you're in our mobile application. So it would actually come from the office phone number, that call to Sunny's landline in that case. Great, thanks Danny. Absolutely. Here's something that we feel has been, you know, we talk about feature utilization and offices utilizing this feature. Well, now more importantly than ever, especially as we're supposed to social socially distance ourselves and try not to touch as we touch as few things as we can that are touched by other individuals, we have electronic payments built in to our system. Now this would apply to those who have a cell phone, but um, let's say you just treated an emergency case and they owed a $50 copay or they were looking to pay for their balance in full. You can actually, through our application, write in the amount that you would like to have paid and you can send that out. The patient will receive a hyperlink on their phone where they can enter in their credit card information, click submit, and the payment would be sent to the office. So what we also pull from Dentamax is overdue balances. So we can read the ledger and we can see any remaining balances that patients have. So one practice that offices are using during this COVID time is they're actually going back through and looking at all of their outstanding balances to patients, even if they're not seeing them for another appointment in the near future, they can actually send text messages out and collect on overdue balances through our payment system. So this is, once again, when we talk about running the practice remotely, and I know this has given a lot of office managers and treatment coordinators and front, front team members time to get square on some of these things, this would be a great tool to have because you are able to see all, if every single patient in your database, if there's an overdue balance, we would show you the balance that remains in your Dentamax ledger, and you can send out these text messages trying to collect that amount. And uh, you know, it's been it's been a very very helpful tool for people to have. We also send payment portals to the office, so once we return back to on location practicing, you you can receive payment portals. We will send those out at no cost to you, where you can insert a credit card and charge there. But for the time being, having mobile payments is a great way to operate. Yep. And uh, Danny, I've got um, one of our viewers actually has a question while we're on this topic, um, wondering where the actual payment is sent to uh, if they do click to pay from that text message. And I believe it's um, linked up on the back end to their bank account directly, right? Yes, we we have actually built out this payment processing and our mobile payments through a company called Stripe. And so we know that many offices already have an existing credit card merchant that they process their accounts through. If they would like to use this mobile payment feature, they simply set up a, a Stripe account and any payment that is processed through Weave and Stripe would link directly to their account. And it, it actually, the most recent uh, percentages and fees that we have is 2.8% for every major credit card, regardless of how you're processing that payment. Now, the, the viewers and the practices who are on this webinar with us can go and compare and contrast that with their current rates. Um, we, we certainly offer this to practices for the payments only and if they'd like to explore other options then that's something that we can do through stripe if they would want to process payments in office as well but it's uh, linked directly to their bank account through stripe through a secure portal for the patient and for the practice that's great and i know um, anytime i have the opportunity to pay a small balance online instead of having to find time during my day to actually pick up and call the office and read off my credit card number. It's a huge plus and the people who do it online get paid much quicker from me personally than the people who don't. So I can attest to the fact that uh, that does work. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and a little success story with this, an office that implemented our payment reminders 
took all of their 90 days and over balances due. And in the first week that they sent out reminders to those patients that were over 90 mm -hmm. days outstanding, they were able to collect 4,000 of that through the payments. And uh, so, that, you know, it's, it's really interesting. We talk about preferred method of communication. We like to text, but now it's becoming mobile payments is really something that is taking hold in, in all industries and especially dentistry, mm -hmm. that's a very viable solution. Yep, and I love that you can attach the statement to that as well um, so they can actually see why they're paying, but you don't need to. So um, it's nice for some of those uh, more picky patients that like to dispute things. They can see the statement, and the ones you know are fairly easy. You can just shoot them the text without the statement. So it's a, it's a nice option. Yeah, that's a good point that I forgot to include with this. You can actually take a PDF of, of the of the statement and attach that on your through the mobile app or through your desktop application and that will send alongside with the text message so they see a full breakdown of what they're paying. Um, in the interest of time and and also shifting gears a little bit, some of the features that we immediately in early March as it was apparent that COVID was really going to disrupt our normal practices we built out some new features and ad adopted some things that we feel have been incredibly helpful for offices and help them adapt with a technology that's simple for the patients and it's convenient for the practices as well. One is a curbside check-in. Now, this may sound silly to most practices who are used to patients coming in to the front desk and greeting somebody in person, but right now we, uh, we have a protocol that we can send out a message through this curbside check-in feature to say, when you arrive, please wait outside and we will let you know when we're ready for you. And you can simply send a text message to the patient while they're out in their car and telling them that they're ready and you can have them come in and especially as the other patient exits due to social distancing. But curbside check-in is, is just a little addition that we built in and something that goes right alongside the curbside check-in is a pre-screening. We've built out wellness forms that offices can customize and essentially determine the health of their patients and decide if they need to reschedule. So if a patient is showing flu-like symptoms or if they're ill in any way, you can actually decide the questions that you would like to have in this screening form and have every patient who is being treated for an emergency case fill this out prior to their appointment. And they can do this through mobile and send that back to you so that if you needed to communicate or reschedule or you know anything there you can make the necessary adjustments or just determine if they're well you know the the practitioners for the doctor and the team if you've got patients who are coming in that filled out that they have a cough or they've had a fever or shortness of breath this is a really nice safeguard for the practices and they can now use this right through the Weave application without having to go and hire another additional service to, to fulfill this. One of the biggest things that has changed in the, in the last month or month and a half now is, is the demand for teledentistry and telehealth. So it was just mind blowing as soon as COVID and the social distancing and emergency only casework was apparent that it was going to be in place for some time, practices were forced to look at a different way to conduct business with their patients. And so teledentistry mm -hmm. is something that we've recently implemented and launched through a partner called Care Convene. Now this is a pay as you go model. You can have a video chat or determine the wellness or the needs of this patient through a conference call or a video chat, and then bill your normally hourly rates, your normal hourly rates to insurance and, and things that way. But you're doing all of this remotely and, and not having to be in the practice to do so. I know Alicia will have some gaps to fill in here as she has had many, many practices calling her about this. But this is something that is also tied in now to this all-inclusive communication platform that we've built out with Weave we also have telehealth and teledentistry as an option. Yeah, I am super excited because um, dentistry, unlike the medical industry, 
um, hasn't really gravitated towards the telehealth phase. Um, so a really great example of how you can use this feature even once the COVID-19 um, virus has kind of died down a bit in the U.S. is um, let's say you treat patients for orthodontics and there's a child that one of their brackets popped off but they've got an appointment scheduled after the weekend passes. They can take a picture or send a video um, in through the telehealth portal and the doctor can say, you know, put some ortho wax on that and we'll see you Monday or, you know, assess it and say, actually, yeah, you do need to come in as soon as possible. So it, it's a great way to um, get those assessments kind of going already and really deliver direct service to your patients without them needing to drop everything to come into your office just to be told it wasn't an emergency and it could have waited. Um, I think this is just a great way to deliver more customer service to your patients, um, even regardless of COVID-19. But I do believe that COVID-19 can help really push the idea of teledentistry <laughs> um, to you and your patients. and. I know for myself, any time I could minimize the time away from my working hours and I don't have to ask my superiors, you know, if I could take an hour to go um, to the doctor or to the dentist or any of those things, um, it can be stressful asking for that time, but people still have needs. So if I can accomplish most of my goals without having to go in and then just save that treatment for the one appointment that I want to go in for, um, but the doctor's already in the know of what I need, that's huge and that's incredibly convenient, uh, which of course is a huge value nowadays to your patients. So my guess is there is a lot of dentists who won't adapt telehealth um, just because it's not something for some reason that they see the value in, but the ones that do are gonna be really successful offering that convenience to their patients. And it also gives you a chance to um, connect with your patients on a different level. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, in closing, I just wanted to share a, a quick customer testimonial. And, you know, I know that, as we've said, this is an unprecedented time and so many offices are dealing with so much right now. And it's it's really even I'll go so far as to say it can be difficult during times like these to think about implementing new processes or new tools or technologies. And um, the the going back to the quote at the beginning that I shared, we certainly can't go back to the beginning, but we can change the ending. Um, if if you are looking at, you know, as we've discussed today, you've you've likely assessed your current systems and capabilities with your communications or potentially even gaps in your communication process. Alicia and I would love to communicate with you. We've actually had quite a few calls during this time introducing Weave as a potential solution and we've had a few Dentamax customers that right in the midst of all these changes have actually changed their systems and have adopted this for both mm -hmm. the benefits of communication right now during COVID, but also the tools that it empowers them with moving forward. And so we we would love to, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, Alicia and I are on the phone together constantly dealing with Dentamax offices as we're close partners and talking about the solutions available to them, contrasting that to what they have in place. And this customer testimonial just sums it up perfectly. Essentially, they uh, regretted making the decision during this outbreak because the last thing that they felt they had time for is to learn a new platform. It was terrible timing, but now that they've seen all the ways that these communication tools and the integration has helped them moving forward, they, they don't know how they can manage without it. And so I just thought I'd share that mm -hmm. as a closing thought. Uh, we'd love to discuss with you and, and look into your systems and see how we can help. and. Uh, yeah, we're, we're really appreciative of, of those who have joined us today. I just wanted to share this last slide. Alicia has been fantastic on the Dentamax side in providing resources 
and thought processes for offices and potential solutions during this time. And so I've shared this information here, and I know Alicia, I'll let you speak to this a little bit more about how sure. we can access this. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Denimax has put together, uh, like most companies, a COVID-19 update page. So if you go to dentamax.com, you'll see a banner on there for COVID-19 information and just click on that little button that says click here on the banner. Um, once you're on that page, it tells you how Denimax is adjusting things uh, to help our customers, of course. But if you scroll to the bottom, um, there's a little section for additional resources. Um, one of the resources on there is a link to my blog post, uh, which is your dental practice and the effects of COVID-19. Um, or you can just go to denimax.com and click on the blog section and find it there. But that blog actually has a lot of helpful resources and tips on how to stay productive during this time keep some cash flow coming into your office by working your outstanding claims reports, um, all the stuff that um, maybe you haven't had quote unquote time to do because you're so busy seeing patients. There's a lot of different tips on there for that on uh, how to manage um, your staff and keep people productive. I know there's lots of offices that still have their staff coming in or trying to do work from home or whatever the case may be. So you'll want to go check that out if you're needing suggestions and tips on how to bring in some extra cash flow and stay productive. Um, and there is, Danny, a few additional questions that we've got that I'd like to just address with the group uh, because you might not have thought to ask the question, um, but we do have some. If we can uh, take a moment now or after uh, this and run through that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so um, one of the questions, sorry, go ahead. Well, I just said it, happy to answer any questions. Okay, great. Um, one of the questions we got was whether or not this would work on the cloud version of Dentamax, and the answer is yes, absolutely. Um, it works for both, uh, Weave integrates with both the cloud and the server version of Dentamax. And also for those of you with multiple locations, it can help you manage multiple your multiple locations as well. Um, let's see, the next question here uh, let's, is if the application has to be downloaded on a mobile phone that has phone service or if it can just be accessed through Wi-Fi, if that would be sufficient. Um, I believe I know the answer, but Danny, if you'd like to go ahead and answer that one. Yeah, uh, that is, so the, this, the latter is true. If you have internet access, you're able to download this mobile application. And what we do on our end is we just make sure that it's configured to your office phone, and, which we're your phone provider. So we, we set up all of that. And as long as you have internet, you're able to run this application. It doesn't necessarily yep. have to be on a personal mobile phone with, with phone service. Definitely. And that actually kind of slides into uh, a next talking point. Some people have asked um, if they already have a communication system of some sort, like some of you may be using Denimax texting, um, you know, or other systems out there, Denimax communicator, et cetera, if Weave would replace that. Um, and so for the most part, there are definitely services overlap with some other tools that are out there on the market. But the biggest point is Weave replaces your phone system, therefore making you um, mobile and being able to act as if you're at the office, but you, you've got it in your hand. Um, is there anything else you'd want to add to that, Danny? Yeah, I, I think um, one thing with the question, you know, we talk about offices that might be using services like demand force or revenue well or solution reach lighthouse 360 um, that is actually a service that we can replace within the weave platform so the whole idea behind weave is to take all of these ancillary services that offices are paying individual monthly service fees for and different companies with different trainings and platforms and things, but taking that all and wrapping it into one platform with Weave, because we do handle 
the patient communications. We are your phone provider. We give you e-fax, all of your follow-ups, the electronic newslettering, online reviews, all of these things all live right within Weave in one platform. And so it really simplified, simplifies things and makes it so that offices are only paying one company for all of those said services as opposed to having to pay four or five different companies to accomplish the same thing. Mm -hmm. And um, lastly, another question we have is, of course, uh, what's the cost for the service, which um, traditionally, and this is something just so everybody knows, you will go directly through Denimax if you're interested in signing up for Weave. And we work really tightly with Weave to make sure everything gets implemented and set up and that you're good to go. Um, but typically, the retail price would be a $1,500 one-time setup fee, and that includes up to 10 phones, and then $549 retail per month. Denimax actually has a promotion this month on Weave just because so many people are reaching out asking for communication systems. So um, we're happy to provide you with that promotional information and kind of assess um, your practice needs, how many locations, all of the information that would be surrounded by getting you specific pricing. But we definitely have a discount available for you if you're looking to sign up this month and take advantage of that special pricing. Yeah, absolutely. We've worked really closely with Dentamax to make sure that as you reach out to Dentamax directly inquiring about our services, that they have preferred partner pricing. And Alicia and I work very closely together to make sure that we've provided the best case scenario for the offices that we're bringing on. And then obviously, like she said, hand-holding them through the onboarding and training and making sure that on a continual basis, all of our shared customers are in good hands. Yep, absolutely. And um, one last point I'd like to point out um, is that Weave does, I know Danny said this, but it does replace not only your, all your phone lines that you might be paying for, but also your fax line, any cell phones that you're paying for for emergencies. Um, after our emergency calls can go to your regular office number or a different phone number if you'd like as well. Um, so um, really wrapping your entire phone system into one platform has a huge benefits. Um, so I will be happy to reach out to anyone who's interested. Um, as Danny has up on the screen, the PM sales at denimax.com is where you can email any additional questions or if you'd like to um, chat one on one for pricing for your single location or multiple locations. Um, we can talk out all the details and promotional um, uh, uh, items as well. Or you can, of course, just give us a call um, at the 1-800-704-8494, and we'll be happy to talk it out with you there as well. Perfect. Well, that's all I have. Um, yeah. Sure. Uh, I had a... Yeah, I had a few more, um, well, one more point here. Uh, some people have asked if we're recording this uh, session so that they could review it or share it with their staff. Yes, absolutely. Um, and that recording will likely be going out in an email later this week, or you can go online to Denimax's YouTube channel and find it under the webinar section, um, and it'll be posted there in a couple of days. So with that being said, Danny, thank you so much for your time um, and going over all these amazing new features with the telehealth, the curbside check-in. Um, personally, I'm really excited about that <laughs> and um, all the new tools. And uh, if anybody has any questions, again, PM sales at denimax.com or just give us a call. And uh, we tag team with Danny and the, our partners at Weave all the time, so we'll make sure we give you answers to all of your questions. Um, we really do, I know Weave and Denimax, myself and Danny, we all uh, wish you the best during this crazy time. Um, I know a lot of offices are um, struggling to stay productive or find things to do, so please let me know if you need any recommendations or assistance with any of that. Um, and we're really here to be a resource and a sounding board for anything that we could do to help you grow your practice or 
stay the course during the COVID-19 outbreak and after. So thank well, you, Danny, you for being with us today and yeah. uh, sharing all the wealth of information that you have. Um, I really appreciate it. My pleasure. And when I echo what you said, I really wish everyone the best and hope that they can navigate this and like you said, write a write a new ending because we cannot change what has happened thus far. Absolutely. Okay, everybody stay healthy out there and um, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Just uh, get with us with anything you need. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.